Hello, I'm Adam Proctor, and this is American Barbecuers. Today, we're going to talk about RTD probe that you find in your Z Grill pellet grill. Z Grill uses a standard 1K ohm probe in all of their grills. What does that mean? That means this probe, when it's in 32 degrees, will have a resistance of 1K ohm or 1000 ohms. To do this and to check your probe, you need a glass full of ice and then fill it full of water. Let your ice water sit for one to two minutes to get that water nice and cold because ice water will always be a constant 32 degrees. Now, within this probe, you have a resistor. The resistor does not read this entire probe. That's not how it works. Your probe and your resistor is going to be right in the very, very tip. That's important because Z Grills actually has two different size probes. Your original probe is going to be around four to four and a half inches tall. That caused a problem because inside of your grill, that probe was sitting about like that with the top rack. Your top rack absorbs heat and it was throwing off your RTD probe in those grills. So people were having temperature swings, they were reading the wrong temperature, because that probe was reading the actual temperature of the grill grate and not the surrounding air inside of your grill. So they came out with this one, a lot taller. It actually sits above your grill rack, does not get that interference. So if you have a shorter probe in your grill, don't worry, take your top rack out. If you're not using it, you won't have any problems. That's what I did in my grill because I still have the original probe. I got my hands on a new style, the taller style. Haven't had to use it yet. I've got it as a backup right now. But every time I use my grill, if I'm not going to use the top rack, it is removed and I don't have any problems. Um, Z Grills figured out, went with the longer probe after they changed quite a few controllers, thinking it was a controller problem. Well, they didn't have a controller problem. It was actually a probe problem, but the probe was reading right. It was just a height problem, okay? So when you go to read this probe, your ice water's been sitting for two to three minutes. You take your probe and you don't wanna shove it all the way down. Because once that ice gets in that water for a while, it actually starts to float up. This bottom water down here won't be an actual 32 degrees. So when you place it in your water, you wanna get it right in the middle of that ice float, okay? Then this next part, you will need to have an ohm meter. Don't worry if you don't have one, you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's, pick up one in, a, in the electrical section. They can range anywhere from 20 to $30 on average for just a simple generic one. That one will work fine. I have my meter here, and I prefer using alligator clips. It takes your uh, human interaction out of the variable when you're reading these probes. Um, your fingers can actually throw off a reading. When you stick in your probes, if your meter has what they call a continuity check, always check continuity. If you don't get the continuity beep, that means your probes aren't shoved in all the way correctly, or you may have a broken lead on your probe. Okay, so once you confirm you got continuity, set it to ohms, take your one clip, make sure you clip securely on to the actual probe uh, lead end here, then take your other one, make sure you get on this lead end as well, and then just kind of hang out for a minute. You're going to want this probe to sit in here and get a nice cold reading. After about two minutes of the probe being in the water, you should be reading relatively close to what this probe thinks the water temperature is. Right now, my probe's been in there. It's been close to about a minute, minute and a half. I'm reading 1.001 K ohms. So knowing that and knowing the scale, I'm reading right around 32.1 degrees. So that's 0.1 degrees off. So I know this probe is a good probe. 
I don't have to worry about it. If my other probe fails, I can put this in and I'm good to go. Now, if your probe is reading a little off, a little more than mine here, um, don't fret. If it's three, four degrees, your grill's gonna act fine. Um, you're not gonna have any problems. Uh, don't worry about it. Just keep on grilling like you normally do. If your grill is actually um, swinging and going really high, check your probe. If your probe isn't good, you got like 10, 15, 20 degrees off on your probe, you got a problem, um, take your reading, send it to Z Grills Tech Support via email or give them a call. When you do, make sure you include your own reading at 32 degrees. Let them know you did test it in ice water. Okay, They'll get you a new probe sent out. That way you can get grilling correctly. Now that we've sat here for just a little bit longer, my probe is reading 1.000 K ohms. So at this moment, it is reading a perfect 32 degrees. So I have nothing to worry about when I go to use this probe. That's going to conclude this video. Please feel free to go over to Z Grills Nation Facebook group. Select to join us. In our group, we do have a chart for all 1K ohm RTD probe sensors. You go in our topics tab and it has its own little tab. It's RTD probe. Um, click it, scroll through it. You um, Once you test, find what your ohm value is reading. If you're not reading the 1K ohm or 1000 ohms, find your ohm that you're reading in this ice water and it'll show the corresponding temperature to what you're actually reading for temperature, okay? If you don't have a Z Grills pellet grill, head on over to zgrillssalescenter.com and order your Z Grills today. And remember, have fun smoking this summer.